So there are two ways to get to Google Classroom. The first is going to be using that waffle in the top right. You're going to scroll down and find Google Classroom. The other way is you can use that URL at the top there, which is going to be classroom.google.com. Here you'll see all of your classes. You can move them around by clicking and dragging on them. If you'd like to move, copy, edit, or archive them, you can click the hamburger menu in the top right. To access your class, just click on it. Here you can see you have a class. You can change your theme by going to select theme and browsing to different categories to find what you'd like. You can also create your own theme by selecting upload photo and choosing your own picture. So in the Google Classroom stream tab, you can post announcements by selecting share something with the class. You can also add a file from Google Drive, a link, a file from your computer, or a YouTube video. You can now post the announcement by pressing post, or if you click the arrow, you can also schedule it for later, or save it as a draft. You can also reuse previous announcements by pressing that re refresh button on the right side and selecting the one you want to repost. When you repost it, you can also create new copies of any attachments that were there. After you've selected the post, you can edit it as needed and treat it like any regular post. I'm going to go ahead and schedule this one for the future. You just click schedule, just choose your date and time. And then click schedule. You can see by clicking on the saved announcements that there is one scheduled for 1 p.m. If you look on the left side of the stream, you can see any upcoming assignments. If there are too many, you can also click view all to view all upcoming assignments. If you click on the hamburger menu of any announcement, you can edit it, delete it, or copy a direct link to the announcement. If student comments are enabled, you can choose to delete them or mute the student as well as copy a link to the direct post by using the hamburger menu. If you'd like to keep a post at the top of the stream, you can use the hamburger menu to do that as well. You can view your stream settings as well as other settings by clicking the gear in the top right of your screen. Here you can control certain settings such as what students can post, what notifications you receive, and a few other things as well. You can also determine how your grades are calculated, whether or not students see their grades, as well as create grade categories. Thanks for watching!